hello this is my um, technique for converting fonts and graphics for engraving and using a pen um, when I first wanted to do engraving I checked the internet looking for good fonts and they were hard to find or very expensive so I came up with this don't ask me how um, but I did uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to if you've got a font like this you want to fill it in like this so that the engraving shows up more especially if you're doing it on that high shiny stuff in the um, believe in yourself one that I did the tag although I did leave it open some and I kind of like the effect but everything is just like we say in knitting knitters choice it's your choice your preference what you want to do to it what you like and what you don't like okay so the first thing I want to do is I look at my font after I type it in and the thing that I notice is that it's over crossing you don't want that you want it to be all nice and solid like this section is if you have lines crossing like this what's going to happen is when you start filling in more lines you're going to get one heck of a mess in those areas I also like to work with my matte clear so that I can really zoom in and see if you've got lines there it's kinda hard to see and I enlarge it and that's the other thing you have to think about when you're doing this if you're going to shrink it down afterwards you don't have to get the lines so close together that you're looking at here or you don't have to fill it in all the way it depends again what you like okay now that I've got it here I will go ahead and take this and I will right click because I want to weld it to get rid of those lines so I go right click and I go to weld and I click that and that takes care of that line right there now what I need to do is offset but I don't want to offset to the outside because that's just going to keep filling this in and you're just going to see one big mess you need to fill the inside in so you're going to do an internal offset the offset button on my screen is next to the trace button this blue sheet here is the trace button and then one next to it is offset so I hit offset and the top one is the external offset you want the internal offset you click that and for some reason they default to um, 0.040 um, and it will show you the areas that it's going to fill in well that's not enough I need it closer so I found that if I put it at point zero zero five it almost lays it right on top of each other again this is preference you might want to go to point zero one oh or point um, zero three something like that it really depends on what you like and what you don't like and how it turns out so I've got it like this and I definitely don't want it like this so what I'm going to do is go up here and I'm going to change the default to point zero zero five that lays it almost right on top of each other I'm now going to hit apply and you see that the lines have turned darker I'm going to hit offset again it'll default to the same thing I will change that to point zero zero five and I'll keep doing that now you don't have to keep using the zero zero five I got too many zeros in there um, you can do some zero zero five and then go off to you know zero zero or zero one zero so you don't have to keep it at five it's what you like hit apply and it starts to fill in and then the line is a little darker and you go up and you keep repeating this process until you get to what you want I would probably keep going but this will be long enough um, I have to do this in sections I'm still learning the program okay let's pretend that they're all filled in like this one here what you don't want to do is move anything until you group it all together otherwise you're going to get that because each one of these is a different separate piece so I'm going back to the undo button put it back in place and I'm going to make sure I can get all of this I'm going to group the whole thing by drawing a square around it rectangle go up and right click and group it okay now it's all one um, 
I like to play with the colors then and see what it's going to look. I'm going to be using a silver pan and make my lines silver. Maybe I'm making my lines. Oh, there they go. Okay, so that I can see how much it's going to fill in when I. Although no, you don't want the fill in. That's right. You want it clear because that'll really show you what you've got. If you fill it in, it's not really going to be filled in when you go. Okay, I hope this has helped, and I hope this works.